everybody my name is becca and i am sambri stitches here on floss tube and instagram um sorry about my camera angle it's very wonky i did not feel like getting out my full camera setup for this but y'all will still get to see all the cool stuff that i'm gonna show um this is a special edition video it is a ray dunn haul video um so i want to say hi to all my fellow ray dunn hunters and lovers and um, addicts because I'm telling you it is an addiction <laughs> um, it's crazy I have a lot to show um, for haul and um, I want to thank everybody that has offered to hunt down my unicorns or keep an eye out for something um, and I'm doing the same for a couple of you as well um, but I really, really wanted to thank Vicky. She is Vicky Spun Sugar Quilts. You've heard me talk about her before in my other videos. Uh, she really, really came through. Her and her friend are like the ultimate Ray Dunn hunters. They get so lucky. Their area, I guess, is just, I don't know, they just get the, the greatest stuff. And she pretty much grabbed most of my unicorn pieces that were on my wish list. Um, so, um, and you know, <clears throat> I just pay her via PayPal. Um, and you know, I suck up the shipping. So shipping is, is pretty expensive. I thought, you know, when I'm looking on Facebook or Mercari for Ray Dunn stuff and people are charging like 10 or $12 for shipping, I thought, oh my gosh, they're just trying to make money off of the shipping costs. But in reality, they're not. Um, shipping is ridiculous and I just learned that from you know Vicky being so nice um, and willing to ship to me um, and it's worth every penny it makes me happy so I don't mind paying the crazy high shipping fees um, so let's just start off with whatever group is in front of me right now. I kind of tried to pair them off in groups of um, like Facebook or Macari finds, which I try not to do very often. Um, and then I did the Vicky area, which is pretty huge. Um, and then I did mine and my daughter's where we hunt <clears throat> together or separately. So I'm just gonna start off with the the Facebook Macari um, finds that I that I found uh the first one is so my daughter is also a bad influence my oldest um she'll be 22 at the end of April um she goes on and sends me all these posts from Facebook marketplace um all right done of course and but this one she sent me um I love and it's it's a right done um and I had not seen that before but I love it. And it's just a gray inside. It needs to be cleaned. It's kind of dirty that it, it arrived dirty and it kind of grossed me out. But I'm not going to use this anyways. But it says forever. Um, and my husband, we've been married almost 23 years. In June, it'll be 23 years. <clears throat> and when we were first married, he went and got our marriage certificate custom framed. And so that's pretty special to us. So I was thinking of putting this with our marriage certificate and um, a cross-stitch piece or something that I've stitched for him um, up on the mantle and make that like our special place. So I grabbed this up and she was selling it for, I want to say like five or six bucks and I think shipping was included. Um, she may have been local to Washington, but I love it. Um, so that's my first piece. And then this one uh, got a lot of interest. I post in my Insta stories uh, when I get some Ray Dunn stuff. And this one received a lot of interest. I guess there's a lot of fellow purple lovers out there. Um, but I grabbed a Be Kind and it's lavender. And I love it. So much. Um, again, this was off of, I don't even remember, Mercari or Facebook. Um but I do not pay like crazy, crazy amounts of money for these things. So I try to get lucky and find ones that um, are like five bucks above asking or like retail price um, that we would pay in the store. A lot of Facebook groups limit it to that too. Um, they don't want people price gouging. So you're allowed to sell it for like five bucks above um, the price. But yeah, it's a lavender mug. It's Be Kind. 
I have not seen these in the stores, and I've grabbed a bunch of bee stuff from in the store. I've just not seen any of the purple mugs. So I don't know if this was last year's um, or not. It does not say, so I don't know. And then I had to have this next piece. Um, and I'm really upset at how it all went down. <laughs> I just said that I don't pay crazy amounts for these pieces. This one, I ended up doing that because it was a limited edition, online only purchase. And I'm not very good about following and keeping up on that. Um, I should, I'm part of the Instagram group, but I just, I don't have time. And so these are limited edition, only a certain amount were made. They were only sold online. So of course people ordered them up and then charged a ridiculous amount. But because I have FOMO and because I want this part of my display, I bought one off of Mercari for a little bit of a ridiculous amount that I'm not gonna disclose. But then, somebody on Facebook Marketplace was selling it for just above retail price. And the shipping was a little bit cheaper. So I claimed that one. Because on Mercari, you can cancel. Well, literally, within the span of just a few minutes, somehow, the lady off of Mercari, who was charging an exorbitant amount, somehow got it to FedEx in that few minutes and shipped, which was really, really weird to me. I, I don't know how that works. Like it, it was crazy fast. Like she, I don't know if she had it with her or what happened. Um, but I had already put in the cancellation almost immediately after I bought it when I saw the other one and claimed it and, um, messaged her. And I was like, Hey, look, I made an, I, it was, this was an accident, blah, blah, blah. She was like, Oh, I already got it to FedEx. And I was like, Oh, okay. She's like, I could try to get it back. And um, I was like, no, I guess don't worry about it. <sighs> so Facebook marketplace person was nice enough to cancel mine. Um, so I ended up paying a ridiculous amount. I guess I shouldn't freak out over things that quickly, but they were going so fast and you'll see why. Again, I keep saying I'm not a birdhouse person, but this is a honeypot birdhouse. <laughs> But it's so cool. So it says honey and there's a little bee on top. And look at the little stirring stick. The it doesn't the lid or anything doesn't come off, but so these are very hard to find. Like I said, limited limited quantity online only. I'm gonna be really mad if they're released in store and I see them in store because I'm not thrilled with how everything went down. Lesson learned is take some time before you freak out over something um so you're not out on money and you, i'm it just makes me so mad that resellers sell them for so much i mean just share the love <laughs> drives me crazy all right my other facebook uh marketplace whatever find was um was this I'm not a gnome person, just like I'm not a birdhouse person. Um, but I like to have a gnome in each of my displays now. And it has to be Ray Dunham. It's got honeybees. So this was pretty cool. Somebody, I'm part of Facebook groups for Ray Dunn, Washington State, um, and all that kind of stuff. And somebody posted this. And I was like, oh my gosh, I absolutely love that. You know, I need to, I need to find one of these uh, for my bee display. And so, um, I don't remember if it was, the, I think it was the next day in the morning, the lady who had made this post had gone back to the store, uh, to Marshall's to, uh, return something and had gotten lucky and grabbed another one of these. And she messaged me and she was like, I know we're not supposed to do this cause it's against the rules, but you seemed like you really wanted it. Um, you know. If you wanted to pay for it in shipping, I'll send it to you. Done. She didn't jack up the price. She didn't overcharge me. She was just helping out a fellow Ray Dunn hunter and lover. So there's my gnome. He's so cute. So there are those. 
All right, let's get to the Vicky and her friend um, haul. So when they're out in stores, um, she'll check, like, I have a Pinterest with a wish list and, and all the pieces that I have in different categories. Um, and she'll send me pictures of what she finds, and I'll say, yes, grab it for me, or no, no, thank you. Um, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's like a personal shopper. It's very cool. Um, so I paid for these. They all came in separate boxes. Um, so I do pay um, for the piece and for shipping, um, which is fine by me. And I'm just so happy that she was willing to grab extras for me and send them to me. So thank you. I know she knows how much I appreciate her. Um, I think I poly or thank her profusely in our chat. So I think all of these are my rainbow pieces that she happened to find. Speaking of rainbow, here's the first of a few over the rainbow mugs that I have, or the rainbow toppers. So this is over the rainbow with the rainbow topper. It still has a plastic on it because I didn't get it in time to put out with my St. Patrick's display next year. The next one has been in my display, so it does not have the plastic. It just says rainbow. So that was in my display. And then she grabbed me this one. Human kindness with a rainbow topper. I love it. I love this line. I have um, black mugs. There's a love never fails that I have sitting up over there waiting for my mug rack, which was just shipped the other night, finally. That was ordered in January. So I'm excited for that. Um, and then a couple other ones I wanna show you, but human kindness. And then here's kindness matters. Love it. And follow your heart. And again, I have uh, Love Never Fails that goes with these, which is really cool. This made me so, so happy. Because I love this topper, but I also love what it says. Love is human. Enough said, really. But look at this topper. And then she grabbed me this for my daughter. I still am looking for the puppy one, but it says kitty cat and it has, look at the cat topper. My daughter's already seen it. I was gonna save it for Easter, but I told her she couldn't have it until I showed it in my video though. <laughs> so there's that. All right, this was my ultimate unicorn because I say this all the time and it drives my girls crazy, but Vicky grabbed me a not today Satan mug. I, I mean, I say it all the time, not today Satan, not today, especially at work. <laughs> I'll mumble it or I'll say it to like an annoying employee <laughs> or whatever, but I love it, love it, love it. And this, she, it, this has a Marshall's tag on it. Some of the other ones I didn't recognize the tags, but I'm learning that some of the stores um, get certain releases. And so I received a message on Instagram asking me where I get my Ray done. And I have a Home Goods, a Marshalls, and a TJ Maxx. Um, there's also another store that I can't think of the name. Um, I can't think of the name. But it's up in that area too, and it's part of that, that company. Um, but they don't typically have redone. I know people have found it in there, but I can't think of the name for some reason. Um, but Vicki also grabbed me a tea time. I love this color. I love it. And it's got, it's a travel mug. I'm so excited. So now I can bring my tea and my water on our road trip adventures with my husband because he likes to leave early and I need... My tea, I'm a big tea person. This one is out in my display now, um, my Easter display. And it's Buddy Buns! And it's the pink one with the white topper. I love it, I love it. 
So Vicky grabbed me this. So cute. <coughs> Sorry if I'm a little off. I woke up with a headache and I just cannot kick it. So, and then the last thing she grabbed me and this had to come in its separate box was the Buzz teapot. Look at that topper, it's a bee topper. My bee display is gonna look amazing. I am so, so excited. I mean, I love my Easter display and I love my St. Patrick's display, but I think the bee one is gonna look awesome. It really, really is. Um, and then the last little section, trying to see if there's anything behind me, is kind of a combination of sometimes my daughter will run to the store um, and send me pictures and then I got really lucky the other day on my lunch break. And that's, I'm so excited about that. But let's see. First, um, I grabbed a candle. My husband loves whiskey sours. Um, he doesn't drink very often. But when he does, he'll order a whiskey sour. And it's a candle. And it smells so good. It's maple whiskey sour scented candle. And yes, I am going to burn this. Because it smells so, so good. I even had him smell it. He's like, it smells all like maple. But we'll see. So I grabbed that. Um, this was at Marshall's. It's a pretty heavy-duty, substantial candle for 13 So, got that. Um, My daughter went to the store and grabbed me these. This is uh, Create Your Own Sunshine. And it's got the yellow inside. And um, she'll probably watch this. I don't know where she got it from. It doesn't say on the tag. So um, probably Home Goods. I can't remember if they label theirs. But create your own sunshine. Um, and then she also grabbed me Be Still. And this was from TJ Maxx. And it has the blue inside. But I love that. Just be still. Some days we need that. Um, and then we were at, I think this is at, uh, TJ Maxx and we got me a Hello Spring gnome. Look at the butterflies. This is the one we picked. They had quite a few different ones, but we picked the one with the carrots and the butterflies. So he sits with my spring decor, which I'll be doing a tour soon. Sorry. Ooh. I am off my game today. Whew. And then we randomly found a couple Thanksgiving pieces, which is fine by me because I don't have very many to go in one. So, birdhouse, I'm telling you. I don't know why I buy these, but because it says thankful, I wanted it for my display. I mean, it wasn't even, like, clearance. This is $20 at TJ Maxx. And it's nowhere near Thanksgiving, but I grabbed it. And then we... um grabbed a gather blanket because I have a blanket ladder next to my, uh, well, in my di display. And so I try to get um, a holiday blanket, not necessarily a seasonal, I guess. Um, I don't know. I, just, I guess bees aren't a holiday, but I don't do the spring, summer, winter or fall blankets, I try to have it go with the decor. So like I have a bee one and I have an Easter one. These last three, I'm so excited. So yesterday, oh, today is Monday the 29th. Um, yesterday and Saturday, all my lunch breaks, um, the stores that <clears throat> have Ray Dunn are all within like five minutes of my work and I get an hour long lunch. So Saturday I went and didn't find anything at the stores except for that whiskey sour candle. Sunday I went, <clears throat> I went to TJ Maxx and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna give it a shot, you know, cause I was grabbing lunch anyways. And at TJ Maxx, randomly I'm walking around and there's still tons of spring and Easter out, like tons. Um, and I found a couple non radon pieces I can show you. Um, they're still in the bag. I grabbed this and it's not radon, but I saw this and it was laying 
like on the very bottom shelf <clears throat> in the back of the store on top of something. And I was like, <clears throat> what is it on top of? Y'all, it was on top of some Raiden Garland. I'm so excited. USA. I see people selling this for like 30 bucks. It was 13. And the and it was 13 at TJ Maxx and it's regularly 18. People jack up the prices on these, but USA. So excited. Um and I also had grabbed a sorry, a non-radon piece, but I figured I needed some elevation in my display, so I got this. Um, also at TJ Maxx. But, you know, I could stick a mug on top of that. So. But then I went to Home Goods. Now, here's a tip. At Home Goods, that store, you have to walk through the entire store because things are hidden everywhere. It's crazy. But do not forget the front lanes. My store, how they have it set up is you walk in and then to the left, they have like this little display and right now it's spring and Easter. And then on the end cap of that display was St. Patrick's Day. And the line is right behind it. And the line is a long like uh, U shape. And they just put tons of stuff in there you know, all different kinds of things. And there's usually Ray Dunn mugs and stuff in there. So I had walked the entire store and I was like, eh, you know, nothing that I really want. And then I went over to kind of stand by the entrance, but look down the, um, the aisle for the front lanes. And my little eyes spied something all the way down at the end closest to where you would walk to the cash register and there was nobody in line so I decided to cut through instead of walking all the way around cut through in between this little space sucked in my gut and booked it down to the end of the aisle because at the very bottom kind of underneath the the top shelf it was kind of pushed back was this I was so excited. I love it. So I grabbed the USA red truck. There was only one of each of these Ray Dunn things. And the cashiers even said they're not supposed to be out yet. And I'm like, well, I'm buying it. And I was like, you can't take it away. <laughs> I will throw a hissy fit if you took it away. Um, so I grabbed this. And they also had one of the hero blue stars. So I grabbed that. And these are $7.99. And these were at Home Goods. Yeah, it is Home Goods that doesn't have their name on the label. Um, so I'm so excited. Patriotic stuff is coming out. But what I've learned is there's not very many patriotic Ray Dunn pieces compared to like spring and Easter and all that kind of stuff. And that's a bummer. And I can't even find um, a blanket. I've not seen anything posted or in all my searches for like a patriotic raid on blanket to go on my blanket ladder. That's a bummer. I hope that changes. I hope that there's an announcement um, because I follow the Ray Dunn online releases and the Ray Dunn releases on Instagram. Um, so hopefully there's an announcement. But y'all, that was my Ray Dunn haul. I have a lot and now I have a lot to put away, but I'm so very happy um, I really do need to slow down a little bit. So right now I'm just looking for patriotic pieces. I do have a Pinterest. I'll link it down below so that you can kind of see, um, how I have it organized. Uh, my pictures are terrible. They're not professional pictures. I just take it randomly and pop it in there just so that I can look at it when I'm out. So I don't buy doubles. I don't resell. Um, I will, if you're looking for something, I have a list of people who are looking for things and I do keep an eye out for that. Um, I just ask you pay for the item exactly how I paid for it with tax here, um, and shipping. So I won't, I won't price gouge or, or anything like that. So, 
But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. Again, sorry I'm off. My head is pounding, so I'm going to go take some, some medicine um, and try. I have some plans today, so I really need this to go away. So anyways, I hope you all have an amazing time Raydon hunting and that you get lucky and find your unicorns. Um, and if you do displays like I do, um, tag me and I'd love to see how you display your Ray Dunn, um, and your cross stitch pieces. If you're a stitcher watching me as well, since this is on my stitching channel. Anyways, until I see you all again, happy hunting and happy stitching. Bye everybody.